finally we are going to see last topic in this project that is random meals i will come to demo project now whenever i click on this random button random data should be fetched from the api and the data has to be displayed here so we are going to work on this function now here if you closely notice whatever data we have displayed using single meal the same dom function we are going to use here and we are going to display the data i will come now below this event listener i am going to write my random variable in this i am going to add the event listener and what is the event listener i will be adding click for this form we have added submit because this is the form and whenever we click on this search button the data is getting submitted and based on that the data is getting fetched from the api now for this random button i am just adding click because based on this click we are fetching the data and we are displaying in our browser and for this we are going to create one function get random meal whatever name you want you can give i will copy this function now we are going to create this function i will come on top and above this add meal to dom we are going to create this random function function to get random meals below this function i will paste the function name inside this function we are not going to pass any parameters because we are not going to display any data from the single meals directly random data we are going to fetch and we are going to display here i will open this meals api i will click on this link and here if you notice we are having one link for random data this is look up a single random meal we are just going to copy this one here also we are just going to write fetch method fetch inside this we are just going to pass that link backticks paste the link and here i'm just going to add https for secure connection now whenever we are using fetch there is a simple recipe we are going to follow fetch then the data will be converted into object and that data we are just going to get so i will be writing here then method dot then and inside this i am just going to pass here response and this response we are just going to get into object format so we are just writing json method when it comes to advanced topic basically the data which we are getting here it will not be in json format and we are not converting in object so most of the time we say it because it is very easy to understand for beginners but here the response whatever we are getting that will be in readable stream so for that we are using this json method and that data we are converting into readable format so once we get this you do not have to understand this don't get lost in the detail you don't have to understand that later on when we learn advanced topics in javascript then we will see what are readable streams and everything now you do not have to worry about those things now again i am going to write then method data whatever conversion we have got this will be returning a promise and from that promise we are just getting the data i will just write arrow function and inside this let me just print log and here i will just write data just to show the result save this i will come to my project now whenever i click on this i will inspect console now here i have got the object inside this i got this meal some random meal again i will click i am getting this random meal okay successfully i am able to get this data we are getting only single data but that data is inside the array so we have to access the first value that is first index so here 
I'm just going to write here const. I will be writing the same variable meal inside this data dot meals my array name. I'm just going to access the first value that is the first index. Save this. Now here let me just print meal. Save. I will click on this random button three four times. Open console. You can see first I am having the array data. Then we are just fetching the first index. So we are having this object. Again array data. Then we are having object. Again array. Then object. So successfully we are able to fetch the random data from the API. So this is the simple recipe we will follow whenever we are using fetch. We will use fetch. Then we are going to get the response. That response we are converting into object. And it is going to return promise. So finally we are going to return the result. I will just comment this. As well as I am going to comment this. Now once we have accessed the data. Now what I want to do. Entire data I have to get from the DOM. And I have to display in a browser. So previously we have already written this function for this. And also we have written this entire logic. So again we do not have to repeat. Directly we can just call this function. Copy. And here I am going to paste. And whatever value we are having. We are just passing the same variable name. Save this. Now I will click on this random function. Now you can see. I am able to get the result. Successfully I got the result. Now here there is one problem. I will search for pizza. I will click on this pizza. I am getting result. Now when I click on this random. Random data is displayed. But the previous result for pizza. As well as this search heading is not removed. We are getting random data successfully. You can see we have got the result again. But this data is not getting removed. Because that data is already present in the DOM. Once the data is displayed for this result. And when I click on this random. Random function is going to work. Along with that this previous search result will be displayed. So again whatever logic is there that will be called. And using this we are just displaying the data. Now what we want to do. Before fetching the data, we are just going to clear this. Clear result data and heading. Below this, I will be accessing our meals element dot inner HTML. I am just going to empty this one. Then below this, I am just going to write result heading dot inner HTML. And this also, I am just going to empty. So once our data is empty, I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now I am going to search for pizza. Now when I click on this random button, the search heading as well as the content what we had here, that is removed. So this is all about random function. We have completed our entire project. Inside this project, we have written HTML part. And CSS stylings I have already pasted in comment section. You can copy from there. And here we have written all the functions to add the items inside the DOM. To get random meals. To get single data. Everything we have seen. If you are not understanding this. Just make this project two to three times. Then you will understand all the functions. And whatever concept we have applied here. So that's all for this project. Thank you for watching.